Right now we're talking with Chris and Chris is joining our expedition from California. And Chris has a ton of experience with adventures across the world. And so we're gonna ask her some questions related to those adventures. So Chris, with all of your adventures that you've done around the world, how has this experience been for you? And how has the Revel impacted that experience? start back with my travel experiences. <clears throat> so um, as a child, my, we went camping, we had tents, we had the Chevy, we went to every national park in the United States and that's what we did every two weeks, every summer we went places until I got to like my teenage years and I didn't want to sleep on the floor anymore. So then it became flying places, flying to Africa, flying to Europe, flying to Hawaii, flying to Mexico, Costa Rica, South America flying all the places. And then I realized there's so much in the United States I haven't seen that I wanted to see. Never been to Alaska. Never been to the, um, you know, Maine, Vermont, and all that stuff. And those are the things I wanted to do. But I didn't want to stay in a hotel. I didn't want to buy a Class A, because I'm not a Class I type person. And my dad always wanted the sportsmobile, and he didn't want to spend the $70,000 in 1984 to get one, so he got a custom van. So then I saw the 4x4 Revel, and I'm like, oh, this is kind of interesting. And got the Revel, and then I heard about this trip, and I'm like, ooh, Alaska. That's one of my bucket list, and I wanted to go with you, so that's what I did. Amazing trip. So how has this 15-day expedition been for you? <sighs> Grizzly bears or Alaska brown bears, amazing. Seeing baby moose on the side of the road, amazing. I'm all about animals. Seeing the bald eagle flying over the river in the morning, just those kind of things, just an otter going by. My first beaver, I saw my first beaver today and it gave me a tail flap like a whale. It was incredible. And this, these people, I couldn't have traveled with a nicer bunch of people. So with this experience, is this something that you would do again? I will do it again, yeah. I do. Oh, you get a hug. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for Th being here. Thank you so much for this trip. I really, really appreciate it. I mean, having someone who knows Alaska leading us up here, I couldn't ask for a better, better team. Pre I really do appreciate it. You have no idea. <laughs>